I love that dirty water. Love that dirty water TV. I love that dirty water TV. Love that dirty water TV. Dirty water TV. All over Boston, you'll see dirty water TV. Wherever you want to be, dirty water. Boston, you're my scene. What would you want to see? Want to touch? Want to breathe? Every inch of the city, I want to feel history. All the stars, it's the scene. In the bars, cheer the teams. Our passions are next. Boston's pure energy. The Dirty Water TV, Jose Cuervo Summer Tour continues in style as we bring you inside the Boathouse on Falmouth Harbor. The Boathouse offers a wide variety of dining possibilities, from daily lobster specials, fried clams, steaks, salads, and an array of signature cocktails by Jose Cuervo. After 9 p.m., when the dinner crowd filters out, this boathouse features a club-like atmosphere with the Cape's hottest bands and DJs. Tonight we're in for a special treat as DJ Alzi hosts a little black dress party. Come on inside and get ready to party boathouse style. Hey guys, uh, welcome to Dirty Water TV. I'm your host, comedian Dave Russo. And I am Kaylin Serra at the Boathouse tonight in Falmouth. That's correct. We are continuing the Jose Cuervo Summer Tour right here at the Boathouse. First and foremost, though, I need to thank White Tie Luxury Transportation. They brought me here earlier today uh, because tonight we have the Little Black Dress Party, and that's pretty much why I got here at 9 o'clock in the morning, uh, Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> now, do you have any Little Black dresses? I certainly do. Some I can't quite wear out in public. Those will be on the website, uh, dirtywatertv.com. Uh, no, for some of you who don't know what's going on right now, we have DJ Alzi here emceeing this whole special event at the Boathouse in Falmouth. And this right here is our newest member of the Dirty Water TV team, Miss Kaylin Sarah. Right now, uh, Kaylin is a model and also very unique, a New England Revolution cheerleader. Now, what is that like? Oh, it's amazing. It's it's so much fun. Me and the girls are so close on the team. We love supporting the New England the New England Revs. It's a great time. See, I love I love soccer, but I'll never date a woman who can kick a ball with that much accuracy and velocity. I gotta go. With that right there. <laughs> but not only are you, let me let me rewind now. Not only are you a model and New England Revolution cheerleader, you're also a finalist in the Miss Cape and Islands competition at the Sandall in Dennisport. Now, what what was that like? Um, there was tough competition. The girls were great. I I always love meeting my competition, but luckily I won. I got through it. This is Miss Kaylin Sarah, the newest, the newest MC, host, model, super fitness, hot chick for Dirty Wire TV. Uh, I'm having a blast hanging out with her down here at the boathouse. We love coming down here to the Cape and Islands for the Jose Cuervo Summer Tour. There's great things going on down the Cape, but we cannot forget about the big city because right now up in Boston, I know you've been there, Howl at the Moon, yes. it is now their one year anniversary. I mean, if you want to go see, if you want to go to the Howl at the Moon, you better get in line now because that place is packed. Yes, it is. And that is the big ticket brought to you by Hits Tickets. Hey, thanks guys. We're here in the financial district to check out Howl at the Moon. They are celebrating their one year anniversary. Got a heck of a party going on inside. We got free food, free drinks, and of course, their signature dueling piano show. Let's go inside and check it out. If you haven't been, Howl at the Moon features a high-energy dueling piano show and a sizzling downstairs dance club to make it the hottest party scene in the financial district. Located on the high street, it's a great spot for any type of occasion. Company outings, bachelor, bachelorette parties, or just happy hour with friends. I started 20 years ago, just two guys, two pianos, and that was it. And it's now grown, as you can see, into something uh, that encompasses still the pianos as the base of the concept, but adding on drums, guitar, bass, saxophone, synthesizers. Uh, we're doing, you know, a lot of rap 
and hip hop and R&B that wasn't part of the concept back uh, in the day, along with your standard Billy Joel, Elton John, classic rock, and things that you'd expect to see in a piano bar. from 21 to 61. I mean, it's so great. You can listen to Piano Man to Eminem. I mean, whatever you want to hear, they'll play. They, I mean, who doesn't want to drink, be with friends, and hear a song that you that reminisce about? Everybody has a song that they remember an event about, and we can bring that to you to any level you want. And having live music creates that atmosphere. I love the people it's a great group of musicians, really wonderful people. Uh, I love the energy of this place. There's, there's usually a really great energetic crowd coming in. So it's always great to perform for someone who's really excited about being here. I like the vibe that it brings to Boston. I think that we were really missing the whole karaoke piano bar vibe, and I feel like they really brought that to the city, which is awesome. The dueling pianos is just a lot of fun and a good time. and. Uh, you know, you got to tip your hat to you know, all these people that play the pianos all the time. They're amazing, and we had a great time, and I'll be coming here and having fun here, too. So as you can see, it's an awesome time here at the, the Howl at the Moon when you're in the Yeah, baby! <laughs> you know what? As much as I'd love to keep asking people questions, I want to get down and party right now. We're going to have to take it back to you guys. Have fun. Let's go! <laughs> That's tonight's Big Ticket, brought to you by Higgs Tickets. Here's what else is going on around town. Looks like a great time at How at the Moon. Uh, right now, ladies and gentlemen, we are joined with the MC, the man of the hour, DJ Alves. How's it going, my friend? It's good, Dave. How you doing? Doing well. Now, the last time I think we saw you, uh, we're in the Vineyard, right? What was that? The That's Vineyard, right. right? Yeah, we would syndicate uh, Island Rockstar. That's uh, where we do a boat trip over to the Vineyard. Uh, we bring over 40 people with us, and we do a live band karaoke contest. A little bit of a wild night. It's crazy. When they, when you guys were there on that Tuesday, it, it was sick. There was a line out the door. It was just a great time. It always is. Now, your entertainment company put that together, right? You have an entertainment company, is that I correct? Do. It's that? Uh, New England Rockstar Entertainment. .com. You can check out the website. We do everything from promotions to DJ services to weddings to just about anything. To stand-up comedy in the near future? We're going to be doing stand-up comedy. <laughs> Dave Russo coming to the Cape sometime soon. It's Dirty Water, the Salt Water Edition. The Salt Water Edition, guy. Now, have you met Kaylin Sarah right here? I'm dying to meet Kaylin. Really. I, I've, I've seen her all over the place. I heard you were a finalist in the Miss Cape and Islands. I was, yeah. Yes. DJ Alvesley, uh, behind, behind us, we have some young ladies here. Uh, wearing black dresses. How'd you come up with that concept of wearing the black dresses? Well, there's actually a, a wine called Little Black Dress. And um, I mean, okay. I'm not the first one. It's not innovative. We're not, we haven't done it, but we try to come up with unique events. And when you guys are in town, everybody's here anyways to begin with. So we threw together a little black dress party. And these are some of the lovely ladies in their little black dress here at the boathouse. Having a great night here tonight at the boathouse, but we can't forget one of the greatest nights of all time is the Nightlife Awards, Tuesday, October 4th at the Paradise, Carmel, Boston. Kaylin, take it away. Mark that on your calendar. It's going to be a great night. We're going to be giving away bartender awards, industry night. There's going to be celebrity guests. It's, there's going to be a lot of surprises. You don't want to miss this. That's great. You can't miss it, guys. Don't forget, Tuesday, October 4th, the Paradise, downtown Boston, Dirty War TV, Nightlife Awards. Up next, Stanley Cup champion Milan Lucic trades in his stick for a bat as we take you inside the annual Rock and Jock Celebrity Softball Game. And we'll have more from tonight's Little Black Dress Party here at Boa House in Falmouth. That's when Dirty Water TV's 2011 Cuervo Summer Tour continues. This is Jono, Entertainment Director at Howl of the Moon, and I love that Dirty Water TV.
inside the boathouse. Three of the most beautiful women that I've seen in the last seven seconds. I got to be honest with you there. And I got to ask you, what, now, what is your, one of your favorite things about the boathouse, young lady? Um, the bartenders and the drinks. They make them great. The bartenders and the drinks. All right, fair enough. Because the more you drink, the taller I look. Yeah. <laughs> all right, speaking of my height, all right, what's one of the things you like best about the boathouse? I like the view from the outdoor deck. It's a great view. I mean, you know, I'm a little outdoorsy type person, so. You're a little outdoorsy? I can appreciate that. Well, how about you? I love the outdoor bar. You like the outdoor oh, bar? Oh, yeah. And you like the bartenders? Oh, I love the bartenders. The female ones or the male ones? Oh, the female ones. Come on now. Right here at the Falmouth Boathouse. Female Check it out. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Kaylin Sarah. And I'm comedian Dave Russo here at the Boathouse in Falmouth. Now, I know you're a soccer fan, right? Uh, yeah. Do you like the Bruins? Oh, of course. I love the Bruins. Are uh, you like softball? Oh, I love swinging the bat. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you do. All right, well, listen, I got to uh, uh, be fortunate enough to be a part of Milan Lucic's second annual Rock and Rock softball game in Lowell. I say we check out some of the action. Any predictions on tonight's game, guys? Yeah, we're gonna win. He won the cup. We're winning the game. That's it. No you heard way. that? You heard that from Lenny Clark? We started it last year with uh, Rock and Jock. Joined up with NMTW Community Credit Union, and we want to do something for charity. And this is what we came up with. What do you think about the turnout this year? It's awesome. Uh, this city, this town, is a hockey town, and they they bleed black and gold, and they're showing their support. <laughs> yes, we do. All right. Any predictions for tonight? Uh, I'm, you know what? I'm I'm gonna say we're gonna win. You know, All you gotta right. think like you gotta think like that. But do you have any predictions on what's gonna happen? No, I don't have any. Hopefully, uh, you know, black team wins. But uh, other than that, I don't have any predictions for you. As I, I leave you, I'm pulling my hamstrings. Yes. You see how far those bases are? We're playing baseball bases in a, in a softball, softball game. game. Is this the second time you're doing rock and jock? Uh, I don't even know what that is. This is rock and jock. We're here at the rock and jock softball game. Cool. Rennie's been drinking. No. Yes. Man, I'm flying high. And i got to announce, you'll be the first one to know that I've just been awarded my own personalized Stanley Cup championship ring. Oh, that is fantastic. Yeah. You have it with you? Where is oh, it? No, no, no. That, we get them on October 1st. Okay, so October we have an exclusive. <laughs> Jocks are down two to two one, one to the Rocks. Well, it's and you're... Milan's fault. <laughs> Lucic hasn't put the right guys in. <laughs> Is it his fault? No, I'm going to go it? down there and talk to him. With the the Danny Smith, uh, one of the chief writers uh, from Family Guy. You got, a, I believe, a two-run double yes, out I there, did. and I think you're two for three today, or two, uh, the um, three for two, three? I'm um, two for three, and Milan Lucic should know better than to <laughs> not give me a step with the wind blowing out, man. You guys are up two to one, and last year you guys, I think, lost by a run. What do you think? Are we going to keep it in? Uh, I wasn't here last year, right, so I don't want to be lumped in with the losers. Um, <laughs> I have a feeling that Luch, and if I know him correctly, Cleon will pull some kind of dastardly cheating scheme to come away with the victory here. An amazing game, but it's the Bruins. They always come back. We should have known. Just like should have known. Oh man. Just like the playoffs. They had a good. great team. Everyone played great. It was for a great charity. It just sucks that we're the losers. <laughs> Coming up. Hey, who's that guy on the ice? It's yours truly. I'll talk with Bruins goalie Tim Thomas as the bees get ready for another cup run. But up next, we'll sit down with Connor McLaughlin and find out what the boathouse is all about.
That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Boathouse at Pier 37. What's going on? I'm Billy T from Boathouse 7. DJ Alvey here. It's Dirty Water TV. And we love that dirty water. Here's Jay-Z in the house. I'm here with Michelle right now uh, in the back deck with, I guess they have uh, the Cape Cod uh, raw bar here and I guess, and they shuck, they shuck oysters and cherry stones, what have you, what, what else? Shrimp. We have oyster shooters, absolute vodka shooters with a uh, little mignette, house mignette sauce. We also have oysters Rockefeller. We have colossal shrimp. We have it all here. And how do we find out about you, young man? CapeCodRawBar.com. CapeCodRawBar.com. And suppose it's an aphrodisiac, is that right? I'm telling you what. It's the best aphrodisiac out there. All right. We throw it down there. Oh. We're going to take a little vodka for you. Bam, hit it right off. Hold on. We got one more sauce for you. It's really just water. And a little spice just to go with the little kick, you know. Alright, we're gonna give this one to Michelle right now. That's a little Cape Cod love right there. Alright. Here we go. We ready? Was that's it good? the Cape Cod shooter right there. Is it good? <laughs> Is it good? Was it? I think she just said she was taking me home. I think that's what you just said. Is that what you said? That's how good it was. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV's 2011 Jose Cuervo Summer Tour. I'm your host, Dave Russo. And I'm Kaylin Sarah here at the beautiful Bow House in Falmouth. Now, I know you're new here on Dirty Water TV, Miss Kaylin, but did you know you can also get Dirty Water News, a phenomenal publication. Did you know that? I did know. You can find it anywhere. And we can get it at tea stops, the airport, restaurants, pubs, subways, Dirty Water News. And here's tonight's Dirty Water News. Bartender profile. This is Alex. I work at Dylan's Restaurant and Bar over here on 955 Boylston Street in Boston. Um, the drink I made uh, for you guys today was uh, Orange Bubblicious. Come in sometime, I'll make it for you. It's a little bit of three olives rang tang, three olives bubblegum, ginger ale, orange juice, and cranberry. Uh, when I'm out, I tend to drink Absolute Wild Tea, maybe a splash of St. Germain with some ginger ale. Um, my first story here over at Dillon's and bartending in general was my first day. It was the Thursday before Marathon Monday over on Boylston Street. My second day was Marathon Monday. Uh, I had never bartended before and ended up behind the bar, you know, bumping and grinding over here at Dillon's doing, uh, you know, what you do, serving drinks 400 people deep. And it was an experience in itself. Uh, and I guess that's, that's my little claim to fame over here. And, uh, you know, for Dirty Water News, back to you guys. Uh, joining us now on Dirty Water TV is the new owner, Connor McLaughlin. Now, uh, it's uh, this, this, uh, the boathouse under new management. Uh, Connor, when did you take over here? We took over this establishment last year, and um, it was open years past. Been here for 30 years to stable the community, but uh, we look forward to doing a lot of renovations in the future. We made some now. Yeah, uh, you mentioned some renovations. Uh, I was here last year before you, you were the owner, and uh, you have a back deck now and a raw bar and, and a bar. Tell me what, what, what's going on in the back. There. Yeah, so the beginning of last year we added a 2,000 square foot deck to the facility, kind of increase our square footage and give you a better view of the open harbor. We are able to remove some of the boats out of the racks to give you that full harbor view experience. Okay. Um, and then this year we added a 22 seat island bar outside. It's one of the few in Falmouth where you can dine outside uh, at an outside bar and overlook the water and kind of have a, a pleasurable experience. It's a family, it's a family establishment, but before nine o'clock, it's a family establishment. Exactly. We have a pretty good <laughs> nightlife here. We have entertainment five days a week, and uh, you know we like to keep the ball moving. Well, well, you said you have entertainment. Now I'm here with the beautiful Kaylin on Little Black Dress Night. Wouldn't you like to see Kaylin in a little black dress? <laughs> uh, it's, it's <laughs> Now, obviously, you've already you, you, you've only taken over less than a year now. Uh, what are some of the things that you plan on doing for the future? You know, we've really been working on our food service and making sure that everything's to par. Um, we have, you know, we we made some great strides. We have a lot way to go. We have a great wait staff working with us this year, and um, 
we're working on new kitchen renovations and we got some expediters to kind of help speed up the process, make sure that people get seated fastly, have a pleasurable experience. And at night, we're getting more into being a music venue. Uh, we have some of the best bands in town and we're going to continue to feature key artists that people want to see and hopefully, you know, we'll spiral that into a classic Boathouse material. So I want to thank Connor, Connor McLaughlin coming out here and keep tuning in to that Dirty Water TV. And up next, We'll talk with MVP Boston Brewing goalie Tim Thomas when Dirty Water TV returns. TV here at the Boathouse. We're actually getting ready to wrap things up, but before we do, yeah, take a look at this video. Boy, you have a decent slapper. Uh, yeah, I, I get called back. <laughs> look at I gotta thank my buddy John Dodo from Wakefield who hooked me up to skate with Stanley Cup champion Tim Thomas at his annual hockey camp. Uh, I got to hang out with Tim Thomas, got to skate with him a little bit, and we got to talk a little bit about Dirty Water TV. Dave Russo here with Dirty Water TV with Tim Thomas, and we love that yeah, Dirty, Dirty Water, Water TV. TV. Got to give a nice shout out and thanks to Mr. Connor McLaughlin for showing us a great time and what a great host he was here at the Boathouse. And I got to give a shout out to DJ Alzi for putting on the little black dress party. Yeah, I got to thank him for doing that as well. Before, <laughs> before we do leave, don't forget out there, Tuesday, October 4th, Nightlife Awards, Paradise Rock Club, Comab Boston. Don't forget to log on to HiggsTickets.com. Get your tickets now. Or DirtyWaterTV.com for all your nightlife information. Hi, right, Kaylin. The weekend might be over. But the party never ends on Dirty Water TV. Good night. Good night.